What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, Freddy, you're gonna be mad at me, man. You're gonna be mad. He's always mad when he doesn't get to go on the hunt. Yeah, Freddy can't go today because we're doing a crow hunt. And if any of you have watched any of my other crow hunting videos, I don't have a lot of luck crow hunting. I mean, straight up, uh, no more excuses than that. I just do not have a lot of luck crow hunting. But I found a little fly line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all were telling me. Bobby, you gotta find the roost. If you find the roost, you'll find their fly line. That's what we did. We found it, boys. Now, it's not a lot of birds. I'd say 50 to 60 crows, maybe at very, very most. Probably more like 40 to 50 at very most. But we're gonna send it, boys. We're gonna try. And what's gonna help us today is this bad boy right here. We're gonna use the old three and a half inch retay today. And yes, we are gonna put in the three and a half inch black clouds. I'm sick of messing with these crows. The last time Jordan and I crow hunted, we both took a shot. Uh, it was like three shots I actually dumped our guns and we didn't down one. The hunt before that, I did a solo crow hunt that y'all didn't see. I shot at one, dumped my gun again, all three shells, didn't kill him. They're extremely hard to kill. So today, no mercy. Three and a half inch shell, baby. Fred here, here, set, set. But I'm sorry, old Frederick. I'm sorry you can't go. But it's all right, old Freddy, he's gonna be hunting a ton. We're on our way to Arkansas. We're probably on our way there right now, or we're already there when you guys are watching this video. Inside, buddy, let's go. Go on, poor guy. Oh yeah, we're gonna go snow goose hunting down in Arkansas. I've wanted to do it forever. And I got invited by my buddies at Dirty Bird Outfitters. They're the ones that I hunted North Dakota with twice already this year. Those guys, they're awesome. Nick, the local beauty, oh yeah, him. So be expecting those videos. They're gonna be epic. But I wanted to remind y'all I'm still giving away my boat. In March, that's when this bad boy's going bye bye to one of y'all. And the way to get entered to win this bad boy is to sign up for the Ducks t shirt of the month. This is our February Ducks t shirt of the month. Here's the front. Oh, and here's the back. And it's an olive shirt. Good looking shirt, blends in with the boat. Got the old Canada goose on the back, just doing it feet down. But if you want to get signed up for a chance to win this boat, and to get signed up for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. These shirts are one-off prints that we do specifically for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month subscribers, y'all. You get a one-off Ducks T-Shirt in your mail once a month, every single month. But I will link it down in the description below if you want to sign up. Enough blabbing, let's get on the road. Let's go see if we can down us a crow. Hopefully just one. I'm, I'm just, I'm, right now I'm just saying hopefully one. So we are out here, just got set up. Uh, luckily, there's no birds in the fields around us. Actually, I don't know if that's a bad or good thing. <laughs> uh, but this is the fly line right here. This is where they like to come out of their roost. This is, this is where I always see them, out here. And look at this. Y'all told me, Bobby, you need to get more decoys. I told you I bought some a long time ago, and they took forever to come in. We finally got them, though. These are... Uh, I bought these off Amazon, actually. Uh, they weren't very cheap. I only was able to buy two dozen of them, but look at them. They look great. Check this dude out. They've got a lot of motion to them. It's just a little plastic stake. Now, mind you, if you buy these, what they are, they're just shell decoys. And um, one thing when you put them out, be careful putting out these little black stakes sitting them all out like goose decoys these are real hard to see i almost lost three of them because i couldn't find them to put the decoy on top all you goose hunters duck hunters you know what i'm talking about but look at this two dozen that looks awesome doesn't it i think it looks great we're gonna send it this is where we are sitting today underneath this big old dead tree right next to it that's our spread in front of us. We got the collar right over here in the bushes. I hope it works. I hope it works. This is what we're using today. I wish I had a, a smaller shot than BB, but we're using three and a half, ounce and a half inch BB black cloud. I wish I had like four shot or two shot at least. I wish I really had like six shot, three and a half inch black cloud. That'd be pretty gnarly, right? With the three and a half inch gun, we're gonna try to rock the shot cam. Let's go, boys. Oh, here we go. I just had to go buy me a new e-collar. My last one died on me. This sucker was like $200. I gotta start using it more to get, to get my money's worth out of this thing. 
By the way, if y'all want to see some coyote hunts, you got to let me know down below. Drop a comment. Let me know. But here we go. I'm going to start with just a regular crow sound. Here we go, boys. We're fired up. We're ready to roll. Oh, I hope we can get into them today. I can hear them. They're getting closer. There's... Oh, yeah, they're getting close. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, what I do wrong there? How didn't I hit that bird? I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the shot cam footage to see where I was off, but I thought I... Oh. Here we go. Bobby oh Bobby Wow I'm not hitting anything I have missed so many shots all the time that happens all the time these crows are so I don't know what it is I have no idea I can shoot a duck I can shoot a goose I can kill a duck and goose with my shotgun with a three inch shell but crows they get the best of me every time I come out. They're so hard to shoot, and I don't know why. I have no idea why I struggle so much with this. When I opened the video, I remember I, I remember saying exactly, y'all know how hard it is to down a crow. Um, I have such a hard time with it. Every time I try, it is, uh, those were not very far shots. That was, that was a 30 yard shot all day completely whiffed you win some you lose some but when it comes to crow hunting i lose 90 percent 90 percent of the time i am losing my goodness here we go there we go there we go Two down, boys! Woo! <laughs> Got him! What's up now, boys? What up? Getting you coming back to your roost. That's what's going on. Yeah! Yeah! That's what's up right there. That one ain't dead. Now he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Woo! Well, we have two or three down. I don't know. Holy smokes, boys. Oh man, if you haven't hit the thumbs up button, you got to do it for me. Come on now. Oh yeah. Got one, two. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that was awesome. Look at these big old dudes. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, come on, smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video over 4,000 likes. Woo! Well, I set up perfect. They're coming back. They are coming back. What I'm going to do with these two, I'm going to put them out here in the decoys. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put one right here, right where I want to shoot them pretty much. Just like that. <sighs> I hope I got that on the shot cam. I really hope so. Oh, that's so gratifying. Oh. Ah. Boys, when they're coming, they come across the road way over there, and they are 10 foot off the ground all the way to the spread. Money. I'm so pumped up right now, I can't even see straight. Oh, I'm really hoping I caught those two shots on the shot cam. Um, I'm interested to see 
how hard these three and a half inch actually hit him. Uh, I wounded the one, he was standing up. I had to double tap him. Uh, but if you guys are liking the shot cam footage, let me know down below. Uh, let me know what hunts you want me to do using the old shot cam. Drop a comment down below, say, Bob, you need to use it on this type of hunt, this type of hunt. Now, like I said, guys, stay tuned. Uh, as you guys are watching this video, I am actually in Arkansas shooting snow geese with the shot cam and my uh, extension tube on. So be looking out for those videos. They are gonna be so, so awesome. And another thing, I don't have a blind. So earlier when I said I can't take Fred, he'd be moving around, them crows would see him. Even when I'd slap my gun to turn on the shot cam, I could tell the crow seen movement over here. That's why I'm sitting in the shadow of this big tree. Uh, I'm hidden pretty darn well. But I can tell any motion, them crows, man, their eyesight is insane. Y'all, you guys always told me that. You always told me, Bobby, you gotta hide better, you gotta hide better. And y'all are right. But I think today I'm getting it done when I'm in the shadow. Well, this could be really mean, but I don't care. Uh, I wanna get our collar here. I don't have the biggest collar. So it's not the loudest, you know what I mean? Uh, I wanna blast my volume into all these trees but I've been blasting it that way. I need to blast it into these trees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point it that way, like so. I'm gonna take, this where I said this could be mean, but you know what? This is crow hunting, boys. There ain't no rules to crow hunting. There we go, covered him up with the crow. <laughs> I wanna get that sound out in the spread, you know what I mean? We'll see if it helps. And by the way, if you guys have any tips of what I could be doing better, now I know y'all are gonna be telling me that I need an owl decoy. I have one, but it's just not the best of owl decoys. You know what I mean? It's kind of cheesy. I need to find a really good owl decoy, like a flocked one. All my decoys, they're flocked. They look great. They're jet black. The flocking really makes them pop. If you guys know of a good, good owl decoy I could use on the ground and in trees, Drop a link down below, let me know. He's dead. Oh, they came out of nowhere, boys. They came out of nowhere, boys. They came out of nowhere, boys. Oh, they didn't even make a noise. I'm sitting here looking at my phone and I just see one cruising, three of them right there, baby. Oh, oh, Ooh, my heart's pounding. We got one down, missed on the first shot. And I smoked him really close. That little, that should look amazing on the shot cam. They came out of nowhere. I mean, I was not ready. <sighs> There we go, number three, yeah. I've been sitting, I bet it's been 30 minutes, every bit of 30 minutes since the last, uh, since the last one, since these two come in. I bet it's been 45 minutes. Oh, this is the best crow hunt I've ever had. Uh, the best one before this one is, I, I shot two. Two, or three on the board. I'm excited if you can't tell. But I am so glad that I had the camera on my head already. I did have to turn it on. I was a little late getting it on, I bet. But number two, I'm glad I have my gun right here ready to go. Whew, I hope I got all that on camera. I really do. That was amazing. I'm just sitting here like this and they just right here. Usually they, they call, usually they call at least once. You know what I mean? You hear them get closer and closer. Not that three pack. Man, they caught me off guard. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go, boy. Here's a bunch. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. It. There was a ton that came boys. That ain't good. Oh, I should have waited. 
I really should have waited. I heard, oh, oh, I just heard like, Jay just came quick. That was probably 20 of them. That was every bit of 20 of them, actually. Oh, he was right there. I think it's the anticipation. I get so, oh, that was a lot of them though. That's not good. We just blew them out of here. Probably gonna be done after that one, boys. There we go. Go down. That was a long shooter, boys. Got her done. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I heard him. That was three of them. I think that's the way to do it still. If they give you that first pass, you got to shoot. Number four. I'm glad we're waiting it out till noon. <laughs> if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, come on now. Come on. There we go. Number four, boys. This is, uh, let's see how far that was. Let's see how far that is. Three, four. Basically 43 steps, which I'm gonna round that up to yards. So right out of 40 to 45 yard shot right there. 40 to 45 yarder. I'm hoping I got that on the shot cam because when I hit that bird, he poofed. I mean he went poof. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is rewarding. This is, uh, this hunt right here is one of the most rewarding hunts that I've had in quite some time. Uh, you guys know I have a lot of good goose hunts and duck hunts, but we've had a bunch of them and we've had a lot of luck with them. Crow hunting, this hunt here in particular, this is a good one. Well, here we go. Four down today. I'll tell you what, these flocked decoys, these little shells, they work awesome. I gotta tell you, they were pricey, but they look great. Well, next stop of the day, uh, we're gonna check the pigeon traps. Yep, I got the old pigeon traps set up right up there. I've had them up for four days now, and I've tried, I have filmed checking them for four days now. This is the fifth day that they've been up there. I'm using whole corn up there for bait. I got both traps up there. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to the channel, all last summer, this is what we did. A lot of pigeon trapping. Y'all have been telling me, Bobby, please get the pigeon trapping fired back up. Well, we got them running on top of the building. So we're gonna go up there and check them. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, say your prayers with me. Come on now, let's have something in a trap. Whew. Well, we are up here. A lot of you uh, recognize this door, some of you don't. This is the door out to the rooftop. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, come on now. There we go, she's stuck. Oh, do we have anything? Nothing. Man, nothing. Two pigeons right there that just got up. They're at least by the other trap. Man. So I threw some bait up here, kernel of corn everywhere. I really figured that it was gonna be gone by now. Uh-oh, nope, psych. I really figured that all the corn that I threw around the trap would be gone by now, but that is not the case. Hey there, bud. That's what I mean. I figured a lot of them would have found the corn by now and been eating it up but a lot of it's still here. Here's our second trap. This is uh, the trap that one of y'all sent me, old Bear Claw on Instagram. Thank you much, you and your boy. Yeah, uh, that's two subscribers, a dad and his son sent me that trap. It's an expensive trap, very expensive trap. Again, thank you so much. That was back last summer, but here we are. We got the old pigeon trapping vlogs fired back up. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
my new decoys came in and I've been waiting to use them. I finally found that roost and I was like, we just gotta go. So glad I got this video up for you guys because right now as you guys are watching it, like I said before, I'm in Arkansas hunting them snow geese. Got the extension tube on the gun, no plugs, no limits. We're gonna have the e-collars going with Dirty Bird Outfitters. So just stay tuned because we have some awesome Arkansas snow goose conservation hunts coming y'all's way. Be sure you subscribe, hit that like button if you did like this video, which I really hope you guys did. Because it was a really rewarding hunt, let me tell you. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when them Arkansas videos hit. But thank y'all for being here. Until next time. Peace.